Mr President, I rise to speak on the Treasury Laws Amendment Tax Relief so working Australians can keep more of their money bill, um, also known as the we bribed you, we scared you, we won and now we're going to give our rich mates a tax cut bill. So this is actually the biggest scam going. $158 billion of taxpayer money where most of it is going to go to the top 20 per cent of income earners and at the same time reducing penalty rates, increasing the amount that people have to pay their hex debt back sooner and continuing to underfund the services that all Australians rely on. We've got a massive problem with homelessness in this country. We've got women and children who are turned away from frontline services when they are fleeing domestic violence because the beds are full and this government won't kick in enough money to build more beds. And yet somehow, somehow they've found the money to give the top 20 per cent a massive tax cut. And they claim this is for economic stimulus. Well, firstly, it's not for five years. And secondly, we know that the rich aren't going to spend this money. They don't need it. They've already got enough. If you want economic stimulus and you actually want to help people, well, then let's give a low income tax offset to people that don't have enough money in their bank account to meet their basic needs. Let's increase new start. It hasn't happened for 25 years and it is well below the poverty line. If you really want to help people ease their daily costs of living, why not provide free childcare? We know it's great for the education of young ones. We know it frees up parents to return to the workforce. Uh, we know that that's a job creating measure and an investment in the, the nows and the brains of our whole country. Why not invest in free childcare? Why not actually fix the housing crisis. There are 12,500 Queenslanders, including children, that don't have a roof over their heads. And all you're offering is a minuscule tax cut. Well, what's that going to do when they still don't have a home? And I'm disappointed to see that many of the crossbench are now supporting this, and I'm expecting that Labor will roll over like they always do and support this despite some you know, fairly mediocre but half decent speeches that they've just given. What an absolute crock. This, as I said, is the biggest scam going. You guys just scared the electorate about you know, the ghost of Bill Shorten and uh, a made-up crap about death taxes, and now you're just using $158 billion of, of taxpayer money to give massive tax cuts to your rich mates. I mean, well done. You've pulled it off. Credit to you, but um, Australia is actually going to be suffering from this. In Queensland, it's not the top 20 per cent that would get this tax cut. There's only 16 per cent of Queenslanders that would benefit from this stage three tax cut on the Never Never. And in regional Queensland, it's 1.6 per cent. So what an absolute crock when we have people right around my state and this country that are crying out for free childcare, for affordable TAFE and free uni, for a roof over their heads, for clean energy projects that can keep power bills down and tackle climate change. What a crock that they're barely going to see any of this tax cut. People want investment in services. That's what will ease their daily cost of living pressures. Instead, you're delivering tax cuts to your rich mates. Well, Good on you for managing to pull this off. I think it's an absolutely revolting outcome for this country and I'm very saddened that the Greens um, and possibly One Nation are the only folk that are actually going to be opposing this when we get to the vote. So we'll be moving an amendment to more than double that low income tax offset because we think that those folk do need money in their pockets and they will spend it because they cannot actually afford their basic living expenses at the moment. You want economic stimulus, that's the way to do it. Rather than increasing the tax tax brackets which will flow through to everyone and see rich people get even more of a perk that they do not need, that is not affordable when the economy is looking as precarious as it is. Let's use those measures to actually help people to provide that stimulus to create jobs and, hey, why not actually help people in their daily lives? If you want to fix a housing problem, don't just get the state Tasmanian Liberals a free pass on their own budget balls up actually invest in affordable housing. Now you're going to cry poor because you've just wasted $158 billion, 95 of which goes to the top 20 per cent. What a crock. 
I look forward to this, oh, we can't afford to fix homelessness, oh, we can't afford to make sure women and children actually can get a bed when they're fleeing violence. We'd rather see them go back to possible death. Because we've had 26 women killed already this year and we know that services have to turn people away because they don't get enough funding. And the Commonwealth has a role to play in that. That funding flows from the Commonwealth to the states and down to those frontline services, except it's not flowing because you guys are spending it on your rich mates instead. Well, shame on you. We'll be voting against this and we'll be moving amendments to increase the low income tax offset. And I call on the Labor Party to please reconsider your absolute spinelessness by becoming liberal light and waving this through this chamber. We may not have the numbers to stop this, but bloody well try. That's what we're here for. We're actually meant to be representing people, protecting their interests, and you guys are meant to be in opposition. Well, we're happy to do it if you're not going to, and we intend to do that today, but we hope to have some company. Authorised by Larissa Waters, The Greens, Brisbane.